Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic today is process software validation. We did another video on software validation. If you go back and look at executive series video number 39, where we focus specifically on standalone software. In this video, I will talk more about software that's in equipment, embedded into our manufacturing equipment. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new, please subscribe. Make sure you get all the good content we're putting out. Check out the status bar below for our agenda. Stick around to the end for the bonus questions. Our topic, process software validation, comes from two places in 820. 820.70i and 820.75 for process validation. Within the standard, there are two references. There are two specific sections, section 4.1.6 and section 7.5.6. Our topic, process software validation in five words. Validate software for intended use. When we have software within our quality management system, we have to validate that software for its intended use. In order to do that, we have to understand what does the software actually do for us? Most of the time, what we will do is we will capture user requirements for that software that dictate what we want the software to do. We then document, review those, and approve those user requirements and use them to build our validation documentation. We will have a full IQ, OQ, and PQ to validate our software. Within each one of those, the IQ, OQ, PQ, we will have test cases where we document this is what the software activity is, this is what we expect the result to be. Then we will have a tester go execute that test case and they'll go do the function inside the software, they'll get a result and they'll document the result. And what we wanna see is that the actual expected, res the expected result matches the actual result. For more information on software validation, please check out AAMITIR36. Very, very good. If you want a little bit more, you can check out AAMITIR80002-2, 2017. Both very good documents for software validation. So how do I know this is working? Well, first, all of the software within my quality management system is validated for its intended use, and it's validated before it's used. Second, I have user requirements that are documented for my software. Third, I have IQ, OQ, PQs, protocols and reports for my software. And then finally, I manage my software through the change management system and I maintain that software moving forward. So how do I know it's not working? First, I have software in my quality system that's not validated. Second, my validation is incomplete. Either I don't have enough test cases, I'm not testing all of my functionality, or I'm only looking at a small subset of the functions within my software. I'm not fully validating all of the different activities my software will do for me. And then finally, I don't maintain that software. So over time, changes are made and now my validation status is called into question. But also, if I don't maintain the software, take some uh, larger level software like TrackWise or Master Control, there will come a time to when my software is no longer supported by the original company. So I need to have a maintenance program where at least once a year, once every two years, I'm updating my software and revalidating it. If I don't maintain it, I will get into an unsupported state and then that will severely affect the, my ability to fulfill the quality system requirements. And now for the bonus questions. Do we follow a software development life cycle? Second, do we have a list of all the software within our quality system? And then third, do we have any spreadsheets that we use that do calculations for us, have macros in them, or are communicating with other systems, sending and receiving data? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send any questions to me at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained, making quality systems simple for you.